PogChamps 4 is presented by Coinbase. Whether you're looking to make your first crypto purchase or you're an experienced trader, Coinbase has you covered. Earn crypto by learning about crypto with Coinbase Earn. Power up your trading with Coinbase's advanced features. Get exclusive rewards when you spend with Coinbase Card and much more. Learn more at coinbase.com slash chess. I think he will spot it. I feel like this is a game where he is somehow on fire. He's bringing his best game. Um, maybe I jinxed it. And here we have a, uh, a couple of diamond members, croakies and puns, throwing down with a queen's gambit. Are Let's both see these how guys puns streaming? react. It's interesting. We've got Crokey's doing his Catalan thing again. He loves fiend kettling the bishop in, in the Queen's Pawn game, which is what is defined as a Catalan. But Pun's playing quickly, playing well. Bishop b4 check and knight c6. These are fine moves. And uh, see what kind of middle game we get here. Queen a4. Possibly. That seems like a good move too, with so many minor pieces that type. Yep. We're back to the Scottish <clears throat> nightclub here. The... This is a great move. The queen attacking both minor pieces uh, and pawns only defended the knight on c6. It wasn't easy to defend both. Yep. In fact, such a hard move to see because basically black's only way to defend both was, was to retreat the bishop. And you have to do that because that's the only way to keep the knight defending this bishop. So queen a4, I think, was an even better move than Crokey's realized because defending all three of these pieces with this only move retreat, it's a hard thing to find. And we see already after queen d6, he's chopped up the bishop and uh, and he's doing well. This is still a pretty a pretty good game for puns, I think, at this point. But um, but that's why Crokey's is one of the favorites right there. So they have to move this bishop, right? And then I have this fork. Seems good. Yeah. I, I, I guess really they don't have to, to move get. the bishop, to be fair. We're about to get an evil fork on f6. He sees everything, and will Pawn see it? If he moves Knight the bishop, defense oh, up. Jesus snaps. Oh, Jesus snaps. Ooh, the bot is gonna strikes again. Go quickly. Wow. Okay, nice. A-O. Nice game. So Krokis goes for the fianchetto setup with g6, makes perfect sense, especially knowing that he likes to fianchetto his bishop yep. with the white pieces too. Apparently, um, he put on the glasses there, the blue light glasses. Maybe that's the there. I don't think he was wearing those in game one, or oh. I just started paying attention. Both of those are completely possible options. Um, hmm. Now you're making me question, because I thought he was wearing the glasses, but maybe now maybe, that maybe I'm seeing it, he's wearing the glasses, I'm projecting on the past. <laughs> What is going on here? Like, all of a sudden, you start looking around. Um, apparently, I didn't even say the name right. It was, it was Drunken Duck, not Duncan. So, again, more reason why this is not brought to you by Drunken Duncan Donuts. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever had Drunken Duncan Donuts, but they are delicious. Um, hey, look at this. Crokies gives him the pawn, and Puns takes it. No questions asked. I got a feeling. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it is gonna get too. A Shall we listen in with Crocky's if this was an intentional pawn sacrifice? Yeah, let's see. Taking the knight opens up my pen, right? I have given up a pawn for this, so I'm not. I'm not sure it's actually worth it. I think I might have thrown here, guys. On Caius. Not a good idea to take an undeveloped piece with your developed piece, but he has a plan. Wants that C3 pawn. 
He's going for a knight fork attempt again. Will a pawn spot it and defend the c3 pawn? Not he's gonna have a bunch of forking problems on his hands. It is a huge moment. He has been playing so well so far. Pawns yeah. coming from a game that where he lost a piece and then lost his queen, but it seems like he managed to put that aside. And in this game, he has been playing extremely precisely and fast. I think he will spot it. I feel like this is a game where he is somehow on fire. He's bringing his best game. Um, maybe I jinxed it. <laughs> he takes on C4, which no, is just, not bad. <laughs> it's our job to believe in people, right? I mean, you believe in me and all my bad jokes, right? And that's just great. Yes, that's always. What we do. You know, I believe in the power of your purple light behind you. I've been thinking about getting one Thank of those. Thank you. To and shirt. David Hasselhoff? Yeah. What? Is that Thanks. the Hoff? Of course. <laughs> oh, I forgot you had that. That's the Hofster. Oh, I'm, I who doesn't believe in David Hasselhoff? Right. The Hofster. On that right. note, on that note, Queen takes C4 was perhaps not the best, but it, it still is a good move. Um, yeah. I think now after Queen A5, Pons has another chance to either take on B7 or Castle or do something with the C3 pawn. Couple Both of options here. Yeah, the, the only thing Puns could do wrong here is lose his confidence, and, and, and which happens sometimes when you're playing a stronger player. But if he plays aggressive moves or just follows the principles he knows, he should be totally on track. Don't play d5. Don't play d5. That's the only move. Don't to play. Don't, don't to play. And our evaluation board jumped so he, he as plays we it. pushed I, I like it. I don't understand Ooh. why the computer says that's bad for white. Uh, but I guess it's this move. It's got to be. Maybe. Yeah, but it's not obvious at all that you can just give up the c6 knight and then something will be wrong with the e2 bishop. I myself don't no, see even, exactly even that, what take, is the line. White takes? Like, Anna, what, why, why does the computer believe? Well, we shall see whether Crockies plays as the computer because we ourselves, Danny and myself, don't fully understand why is the evaluation bar so cheerful about losing a piece. Yep. Ooh. A lot is going on with the hanging queens today. Alexandra, you, you, never, where are you never you? want to hang your queen on C4. Anna, you know why? Because it's explosive. And Pons, oh, his be, reaction, at least he week. takes it. <laughs> Will someone please? At least he takes it well. Can I walk out now after that? Don't, don't hang your queen on C4 because it's dynamite. Oh, wow. That was weird. We loved it, Danny. You tried. It's dynamite. C4. Yeah. Beautiful. I don't <laughs> think Pons is that happy about it, but he did take it with at least a smile and, and just laughing at, at the fact that, yep, the queen is gone. The game is most likely gone too. And this match is now will not have a rematch, no tiebreaker if Crockies wins this game too. You know, chat just reminded me of the clock. True, very good point that that is a huge factor in Pons' favor. It would have been more competitive if the queen was still on the board, but it is something that Crockies can forget about. There is a five second increment, but that's not that much if you go along on time. We continue to have different small donations coming in. Just want to give a huge shout out to that. We crossed 14K a while ago and we're just inching up the board right now baby steps one yard at a time i like to say so thank you to everyone who continues mm -hmm. to throw in and and support our charity um now puns might be thrown in the towel if croaky sees rook c1 and he is about to play it it's almost back rank checkmate the bishop can still drop back to f1 but it's menacing the attack on the back rank I've never liked back ranks. My, my least favorite rank, the back one. The only way to prevent it would be to give up the rook for the knight, but that just prolongs the inevitable, unfortunately for puns. It delays. It would have delayed it a few moves, not much.
Okay, really scuffed game, man. Really, really scuffed game, but... What Instantly happened? into the game review. Love that. Like a, like a true pro. Immediately. Immediately. And, uh, how are you feeling and what are your thoughts heading into the can the consolation bracket? Um I think I'm I'm doing a lot better than I was when I first started playing. Like I I watched a couple of videos learning about openings and uh okay. developing pieces because I knew I needed to work on that. And I feel pretty confident about that now. But I'm still blundering my queen. I think I did that in the second game. Um but besides keeping an eye on the queen and like trying to be more I don't know, I feel like I'm not attacking enough. I'm like defending too much, if that makes right. any sense. Like I need to start pushing my pieces up and being more aggressive, but I feel pretty confident. Maybe I'll get some more practice games in before the consolation uh, game. And Crockett, you won today's games. And we, we were saying that the second game was a bit more difficult than the first one, but overall in the group stage, you have won all three matches of yours. You have been on the chess grind these last couple of weeks or months. Tell us about your overall experience and how confident you feel about the championship bracket. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. I've, I've done well in the groups. I'm, I've actually not played as well as I hoped. It. For all three matches, I think I've played pretty well in one of the games and then pretty badly in the other one. Um, but I've just got lucky to to win win those games anyway. But so I'll need definitely need to shape up a bit if I want to go deep in the championship bracket. But I'm relatively confident, more more confident now than at the start anyway.